Hello, this is Fred McNichol with Thea Enterprises. Today's Thea Tech Tip will discuss Josh Nano and the Micro, specifically with the placement of. Placement can be critical for optimum performance for Josh to work at its best. Even the very best speakers and microphones would be subpar if not placed correctly. Probably not surprising, much of what a microphone picks up is not just the voice of the person talking, but also sound reflections. What is or could be surprising is that it's something like only 50% of what a microphone picks up is actually directly from the person speaking. The rest comes from those re reflections and reverberations from the room surfaces. Just one of the reasons why voice control is a difficult task. The Josh AI Nano is designed to be installed on a wall. And that's one of the reasons why the Lutron Josh AI keypad is the perfect addition for almost every project. Available in several finishes, seen here in palladium, satin, nickel, snow white plastic, as well as black. It's an elegant solution and probably the best choice for aesthetics and placement for the Nano to listen and process voice commands, thus adding endless customer-generated scenes to the system you thoughtfully designed and configured for your client. Now let's talk about the Micro. So the Micro, like the Nano, can be mounted on the wall. It also can be laid flat on a countertop or a table, or with a supplied kickstand. There are many challenges any microphone or speaker face in a room. Keep in mind, the micro is both a microphone and a speaker. So there are a few considerations to think of. Corners and under cabinets can be very tricky for a microphone to pick up 100%. Sound waves bounce around, creating sound doubling, phase issues, standing waves, all kinds of funky things. A corner or a room boundary such as a wall can add gain, making the speaker sound louder than it actually is. That additional volume or gain would suit your subwoofer's output, but it's bad for a product with a microphone in it. In addition, please absolutely avoid placing your micro near audio sources like speakers and TVs. When there are issues and Josh is not hearing correct commands, due to maybe heavy client accents, mumbling, or sound problems, the chat log on the portal should be the very first place you access when troubleshooting Josh. There you can create aliases if needed and see what Josh is hearing. Then you'll be able to educate your clients on the best way to familiarize themselves with using Josh voice control. I hope this Theotech tip helps and remember to present and sell Josh AI in every system.